We all love to see a player kick a huge bag of goals from time to time. To this day, Melbourne's Fred Fanning remains the current record holder for the most goals kicked in a single game of VFL-AFL when he booted 18 goals against St Kilda in 1947. Fun fact, that was Fanning's final AFL game as he took up an offer to captain coach Hamilton in the Western District Football League for three times the money that the Demons were offering. Fanning quickly broke the Western District goal kicking record too when he booted 22 in a single game. Fanning also booted 10 in his second last VFL game, so not a bad end to his career at the top level for the five-time Melbourne leading goal kicker. But since Fanning's record-breaking afternoon 74 years ago, we have debated whether his record will ever be broken. Some players have threatened it, including Footscray's Kelvin Templeton's 15 goal 9 and Jason Dunstall booting 17 goals against Richmond. But another one that got away was Tony Lockett's big day out against Fitzroy at the Western Oval in 1995. But why did the big full forward spend around 10 minutes on the bench during the second quarter? Did he miss his golden opportunity due to a blunder by the Swans' coaching staff? I'm Jackson from Off The Play, and I'm asking, was Tony Lockett robbed of Fred Fanning's goal record? Before we start, I've always wondered about Jason Dunstall's bag of 17-5 against Richmond at the MCG. This was back in 1992 and I've never seen the game. How long was left when Dunstall kicked his 17th goal? Were his Hawks teammates trying frantically to get him his 18th to tie the record? If you can remember this game, please let us know in the comments. Let's now go to round 19, 1995 and the cellar dwelling Sydney Swans were scheduled to face a Fitzroy Lions team well and truly on their last legs. Nothing appeared too spectacular about this game and it certainly was not one to circle on the fixture. In fact, the eventual total attendance for that afternoon was a touch under 7,500 people. But of course, anything can happen when superstars like Tony Lockett are out on the paddock. This was Lockett's first season at the Swans after a tremendous career at St Kilda. The big Plugatron's appetite for goals remained and he started with a bang on this sleepy Sunday afternoon. By midway through the second quarter, Lockett had already kicked his 10th goal. He was proving too big, too strong, and ultimately too good for Lions opponent Mark Zanotti. But Zanotti is a competitive bastard and thought Mr. Lockett was doing it a little too comfortably, so he started to get a bit more physical. Zanotti was getting into the big fella and Lockett, the one million time Coleman medalist, started to fire up. This is when Sydney runner Craig Holden, not to be confused with former Australian Idol judge Mark Holden, ran out to tell Lockett to cool off. Holden explains the story in the book Urban Footy Legends. I was calling out to Tony to get out and eventually the scuffle broke up and he started jogging towards the boundary. When he got to about the wing area, he asked what we wanted to do and I left it up to him. Plugger ended up just going to the bench and staying there for a total of 12 minutes during that second quarter. It's a long time. Some say that the match committee assumed that Lockett was off under the blood rule. However, Holden later said that it was more a case of being unable to get his replacement player, Simon Arnott, off the ground. So, Lockett spent all that time off the ground during the second quarter due to miscommunication, and he also spent a further five minutes dealing with medical staff during the first term. But despite these interruptions, he still had 10 goals to half time and would finish the match with 16. 16 straight, mind you. Who knows how many goals Lockett would have kicked if he had some more time to play with during that first half when he was absolutely on fire. Will we see anyone else go near Fanning's record? With the advancement in defensive tactics, it is hard to imagine the record ever being broken. Still, you can never say never. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to Off The Play. Thanks for watching.